but I wanted to make sure everyone was settled. All right, guys, it is Friday, April 26th here in the Eagles Nest, where we practice integrity, excellence, and teamwork. Thank you. Yes, that word is very big. Teamwork. Even on our challenging days, we are practicing teamwork. Work. Thank you, ladies. So before we get started, can you introduce yourselves? You go first. What's your name? Myra. Look at them and tell them. I'm Myra. Hi, we have Myra here today. I'm Sarah E. And we have Sarah E today. And they're in which grade level? Second. Tell them, look at them. I'm a second. She's in second grade, and we have our fourth grader. Fourth grader here as well. So thank you, Myra and Sarah E, for joining us this morning and helping Miss Fuller out. So thank you very much. All right, let's look at our feelings forecast. Which weather symbol describes how you feel today? Let's see. Uh, Sarah E, you go first. I'm feeling a sunny hat. You're feeling happy, feeling sunny. What about you, Myra? Cool. Oh, I like that. She said cool, and she did not hesitate about that one. I am, I think I'm the same way, uh, Myra. I think I'm feeling cool as well. So turn to your partners, your table mates, your shoulder partners, or your group mates, and let them know how you are feeling today. Teachers, please put that in a chat. So Myra and Sarah E, we can look at that afterwards. How are you all feeling today? I really hope nobody's feeling Sick. Oh, yeah, we were thinking the same thing, weren't <laughs> or we? Or angry. Yeah, or angry. We don't need any thunderstorms, do we? No, we don't want that. All right, guys, thank you for participating. Listen in. We're going to go over the Fairview 5. Can y'all help me with these? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Myra, what's number one? Actively listen to the speaker. Actively listen to the speaker. Sarah e? Keep your hands and feet to yourself. That's right. Keep it moving. Go ahead. Clean your area up. Yep. Clean up your area. We want to keep this place clean, right? Yeah. No All right. Jumps. No jumps. <laughs> no jumps. <laughs> Number four. Be kind to others with your words and actions. Be kind to others with your words and actions. Scholars, be kind to your friends. Be kind to the staff. The staff will be kind to you. Staff being kind to each other. We all are being kind with our words and actions. And, say, and Myra, you got it? Do your best daily. Do your best daily wherever you are, no matter what you are doing. All right, guys. So make sure we are doing our best. Okay. And we don't just do that at specials, do we, ladies? Yeah. No. We are recess ready. Hallway, hallway ready. ready. Classroom, classroom ready. And classroom ready. All right. So we are practicing the Fairview 5 no matter where we are in this building. And I know y'all can do it because I've seen it happen. All right, friends. And, of course, we're going over our Fairview 5 for instruction because we are here to learn. Right, ladies? Yeah. yeah. Yes. We come here to learn. We have fun doing that learning, but we come here to learn. learn. So, in order to learn, we have to listen, think, think talk, talk, reflect, reflect and create. create. Okay? So, you're actively listening to the speaker. You're thinking about what the speaker has said, right? Yeah. So, you're thinking about whatever your teacher is um, speaking on, and then if your teacher gives you an opportunity to talk, what do you do? Talk. talk. You talk, but you talk about what you are learning. learning. And then you uh, get an opportunity again to create or to reflect. All right? All right. Let's. This is the time I've been waiting for. I feel like I haven't done this in forever. All right? <laughs> so our 90% club so attendance. Good. Guys, we are making so much improvement in attendance. And I am just over the moon about it because I can't do it by myself. Your teachers can't do it by themselves. It but be it has to be everybody, right? Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. It has to be everyone. She said it has to be us. So I appreciate her knowing that. And I need you all to know that as well. So our 90% club this week. These are the classes that are included. We have 17 classes in our 90% club this week. Miss Boom, Miss Green, Miss Haley, Miss Kasha, Miss Mr. Langley, Miss Spear, Miss Walton, Miss Lawson, Miss Edgar, Miss Sillian, Miss Miller, Miss Carter, Miss Oliver, Miss Sleep, Miss Maltesta. 
and Dr. Morrison. I think we missed Dr. Morrison. So yes, 17 classes. Thank y'all for doing yeah. that for me. So congratulations. Let's give them a hand, ladies. They've been working hard and just coming to school. That's the first step. Just get up and come to school, right? And be on your time. time. Be on time, all right? Ready for those belts? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so let's start with, which belt y'all want first? Cafeteria belt. The cafeteria belt goes to Miss Green's kindergarten class. Give them a round of applause. All right, let's go with sword. Okay. The sore belt goes to Miss Miss McNeil. Miss McNeil. Woo, woo, woo. All right, let's save the attendance one for last. Okay. okay. What about the specials belt? Miss Malatesta. Miss Malatesta yes. class. <laughs> and then the hallway belt. Miss Morris. Doctor Morris's class. Congratulations. And now that attendance belt, this class had 98% attendance. And that is Miss Miss Green. No, Miss Reynolds. Miss Reynolds. Miss Reynolds class. That is okay. It is Miss Reynolds class for the attendance belt. Miss Reynolds class had 98%. So out of the 17 classes, her class had 98% attendance. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Miss Reynolds class. Thank you to all the classes, right? Yeah. That received a belt this week. We are super Super proud of you all and we knew you could do it right yeah we're just looking for more classes to do it next week all right guys scholars of the week hey hey let's go scholars of the week so last friday miss coltrane yeah. announced some scholars of the week but some people weren't here because of field trips and things like that so i'm going to announce those names again and the scholars of the week from last week and this week we'll get to run down the hallway does that sound good to y'all yeah okay so we're gonna have a whole crew today Thank you. all right so last week scholars of the week and i'll go through the names i just need y'all to clap it up for them okay, okay. all right pre-k mahida kinder Jaden mcintosh first grade daniel pineda second grade jaron scott third grade jakara davis Fourth grade, Abraham DeGene. And fifth grade, Sua Kadori. And that was from last week. Congratulations, friends. Yes, great job. All right, so this week. Y'all ready? Yeah. For Miss Peterson's class, I have Alyssa Dodson. Clap it up for her. Let's go. Miss Self's class, I have Valeria. Miss Alfred's class, Yee. Come on, girl. All right, this one is from Miss Gilliam's class, and it's Josiah. Josiah? Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. Yep. Oh, Josiah. Yeah. Miss Carter's class, Jace. Miss Boone's class, King. And Miss Langley's class, Zania. Congratulations to all of our scholars. Are y'all proud of them? Yeah. yeah. I am too. And I know their teachers are. And of course. The rest of the school is a proud of them as well. Yeah. So thank you for doing your absolute best this week and following the Fairview Five. We'll see you in just a second when you get ready to run down the hallways. And remember, teachers, as soon as I get off the announcements, we will gather in the hallway and we will see and celebrate our Scholars of the Week. All right. It is Friday. Can y'all believe it? Yeah, it is Friday. So put away your cell phone and your boot bag yes. to lessen all distractions. When we're in the hallway, guys, and we're traveling through the hallways, should I have should I hear a voice level of three? No. What should I hear? Zero. Voice level zero. Thank you very much. So that we don't distract anyone. Learning is taking place and we want Stop. to be respectful. Mm -hmm third grade like they're teaching but then so like other classes are like very loud yeah we want to be respectful to all classes right yeah. you can okay. talk at recess you can talk at recess that sounds like a great solution all right bathroom breaks are only taken as a whole yeah. class except if it's uh, an emergency unless it's an emergency y'all heard my girl Myra say that unless it's an emergency then they can go all right and next week next Friday is 
field day. And we will be, and I'm sorry, guys, Miss Fuller has that date wrong. It is on May 3rd. Oh, so okay. we will be out. It's next Friday, though. Okay. So next Friday, May 3rd, we will be outside from 9 a.m. to 1.15 p.m. So we're going to be out there all day. Y'all going to be good and tired when it's time to go home because I know Miss Fuller will be. <laughs> all right, so all classes will be outside during this time. So teachers, make sure you plan for that. Coach will be sending additional information on Monday, and we've already started posting some information on Dosha. Okay. okay? So um, scholars, make sure you tell your parents that there's information on Dosha about field day. Okay. One more thing, we are going to be celebrating in a couple people soon and when i say a couple actually i meant several a lot of teachers because teacher appreciation is coming up so i'm excited about that to celebrate our teachers in the building so that's going to be fun all right yeah okay all right guys thank you so much for joining us today but before we move on we have to make sure that we know that you ready yeah good is good great is great but elite is elite. Ladies, y'all have been awesome. Thank y'all so much for joining me and being willing to and having such a positive attitude. That's been awesome. So thank you. Sarah E from fourth grade. Myra from second grade. Thank you once again. All right. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Tell them bye. Bye. bye.